If you're doing any digital production, it is no doubt that you've heard of Adobe. They make some of the best software for finishing everything, from videos, photos, to 3D objects and books. The only downside, however, is that it comes at a price. And unlike other companies who let you buy their softwares once, they offer a monthly subscription model, which is basically pay forever. But I think that shouldn't stop you from doing what you want, because there are a lot of free alternatives to Adobe's Creative Cloud. So I've compiled what I think are the best free alternatives to Adobe Creative Cloud. Let's start with the NLE, your video editing software. Adobe has Premiere Pro, which is one of the industry standards in video editing and has been used to cut some blockbuster films. The first alternative I can think of when I hear Premiere is DaVinci Resolve. It is a free video editing software and not only you can get a full featured NLE, but you also get a color tab filled with advanced color correction tools. Even colorists use this to grade numerous movies, such as what you see here on the screen. They also have an effects tab called Fusion for basic and advanced VFX, and an audio corrector tab called Fairlight. I'm not gonna deep dive into this, but I assure you, you will be blown away when you download this. Though the only drawback is that you need 16GB of RAM and a good GPU to edit on it, but there are tutorials on YouTube on how to improve performance on a low-end computer. Links in the description. Next up. Your VFX software. After Effects is Adobe software for that. It's great for VFX work. It can do motion tracking, rotoscoping, character animation, and many more. When I hear After Effects, I think of two free alternatives. That is DaVinci Resolve's Fusion and Blender. Fusion can also do the basic things After Effects can do for free. You can mask, rig, track, add ring, effects, and many others. Blender, however, is more advanced as it has the ability to make 3D objects, animate them, and add them on video. Another software I can recommend is Natron. It's also free and open source like Blender. Either way, all of them can do all the basic and some of the advanced stuff After Effects can do. But the only drawbacks, all of these softwares use a node-based system, which can be confusing for new users. But if you use it enough, you'll get the hang of it. Third, Photoshop, Adobe's flagship product. In fact, the word Photoshop has been a verb in the English dictionary, just so you know. There are many alternatives to it, but the most comparable and eerily similar free alternative to Photoshop is Photopea. It is an online web-based application and it includes all the functionality Photoshop has. It can color correct, mask, add layers, remove backgrounds, and the interface is oddly similar to Photoshop. So if you're planning to buy Photoshop in the future, then you can start with Photopea. In fact, if you're an existing Photoshop user, you can actually open PSD files within Photopea. So that's a great bonus though it has some ads in the free version, but ad blocker exists. If you're looking for something online, then Krita or Gimp or Gimp is a good piece of software too. They have all the bells and whistles that you'll need for editing photos professionally. Lastly, the audio editor. Atopia Audition is a good sound editor. It has effects for improving your audio as well as making some great beats. But we all know that it comes with a Creative Cloud plan and you need to pay like $20 a month in order for you to use it. So if you want a good enough alternative for it, there's Audacity. It's free, it's open source, and you can also make remixes in it. It can make your audio better and it's great. Also, you can use Fairlight, which is built in inside the Adventure itself. And it also has the same functionality as Audition and Audacity. Always keep in mind when it comes to creating content, the skills of the user matters most. If you have any more recommendations other than what I've mentioned in the video, please post them in the comments below.
it will be a great help for those who need it. As always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to click the like and subscribe. That is all for today guys, stay creative!